Well, sports attorney Richard Roth on the phone with us. Uh, Richard, thanks for joining us. Good morning. Uh, listen, as Cheryl just pointed out, it all comes down to whether it's a game of skill or is it gambling. What is it? Listen, I think he's hit the nail on the head. It is all up to interpretation. Of course there's skill, and of course there's luck. There's luck every time a football player carries the ball, um, for the for the gambler, that is. And there's luck every time mm -hmm. a baseball player goes up to get a, to, at, at, at an at-bat. So the, the, the fact that New York court has actually struck down um, really, really a huge blow to DraftKings has essentially ordered to shut down in New York um, could very well be the death nail for, for DraftKings because now other states could very well follow suit. So you think any appeal will be unsuccessful? I think it will be. The, the New York State statute, the penal law that was re just referenced, is very vague. And so long as Judge Mendez, the judge that decided this, um, actually wrote down, wrote a very, uh, he wrote a strong opinion, and is that's well reasoned. It could be shut down. And understand that 100 million dollars in entry fees from New York alone came in this year. So they, they derive tremendous revenues from New York. And if New York, when New York goes down and other states follow suit. Um, you know, I, I would not play, place my bet on DraftKings. <laughs> well, Richard, it's Cheryl Cassoni, but DraftKings has filed an appeal. Does this go to the Supreme Court of the United States? Well, it's got to go. First, it's got to go up the ladder in New York. Um, and then if, in fact, there are, it's, it's not an easy issue. It could. Uh, it's generally up to the Supreme Court to decide whether it wants to what's called grant cert, grant certiorari, to, to listen to it. Um, it may, but there must be a, uh, a you know, a, a, federal question. Right now we're dealing with New York yeah. State penal law. So it will, right now we'll most likely not go to the Supreme Court, but we'll go to the, what's called the Court of Appeals, which is the highest court in New York State. But it's a three-pronged level in New York. You have the trial courts, the appellate courts, and the Court of Appeals. So there's two levels left to appeal from. Uh, listen, DraftKings is, this is its lifeline. If it actually wins an appeal, it can stay in business, it's wonderful in New York. If it can't, it's going to be shut down in New York. And, and it's, a tremendous, it's a tremendous blow to DraftKings. Very interesting development, uh, sports Attorney Richard Roth, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, and again, uh, 21st Century Fox, the parent company of Fox Business, has a stake in DraftKings. We need to point that out. All right.